I'm here with Matthew with the ghost hair at Pressman Auto. All right. What are you supposed to say? What do we have? That's what your line okay. is. Okay. I'm here with Matthew at Pressman Auto. Matthew, what do we have here today? Yeah, that was that was fun. Um, tonight, we show something fun because again, we're in Utah, so we we like cars that hold people. I call them people movers, and my wife laughs at me. So we chose a long wheelbase Ford Expedition. So it's the Expedition Max. This one is cool for a couple of reasons. One, it's blacked out, which is nice for the most part. That doesn't have the blacked out wheels. But it does have this cool aftermarket Ford. It kind of looks like the Raptor grille, which is fun. You're not going to see that. It does have the good adaptive headlights. This one is nice because it does not have ridiculous rims and tires, right? So mm -hmm. people put those like 22, 20 inch rims and tires on it and they have these little itty bitty tires on them and it, the ride is terrible. It's like riding on rocks. Anyway, this thing is huge. It's it's an equivalent to a Suburban or a, or a Yukon XL or a, or a big Cadillac SUV, Escalade, ESV or whatever they're calling it these days. But it is the Max. So this one is nice because it has the Ford EcoBoost engine. So the EcoBoost is the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6. Um, so you get a little better fuel economy, supposedly says Ford. I think in reality it doesn't make any difference, but you still get a lot of power and it's a really reliable engine. They've been putting it in their vehicles for a long time. It's the same engine that's in their F-150s, in their Raptors, etc., etc. So in the back here, you got plenty of storage space. That's some mounting kits for this one. Uh, you have the automatic seats, which I really, really like. So third row, you can automatic up and down. The headrests are on, so they're gonna flip down automatically. Oh, that's a nice feature. So you don't have to get up there and fold them down. And then if you look up here, you can see those buttons. You can actually push the middle seat forward if you're in the back row. So you push that button and it pushes the, that seat forward. So it makes those two captains then? Well, it just makes it easy for your egress, right? Oh. So you're in the back row, so you can, it has it on this side as well. Oh, so, so it you can move into those. the floor? It no, no. Like, it, okay. I mean, if I was to reach back there, here, let's walk around, I'll show you. Okay. So if you come back here and you watch this seat, I'll reach around. Maybe I will. If I can reach it. Oh, here they are. So watch. So you can push these buttons back here and it moves this right here. Oh, I see. Okay, that's quite nice. So, and then these are oh, yeah. on sliders. Oh, okay. So you can actually adjust where this seat is as well. So we can lock it in and push it down. And then down here on the floor, it slides back and forth, right? <laughs> Which is great. Middle row folds down. In case you do want it to be just captain's chairs. And so okay. then you have a, a pass through. Which is nice. Yeah, that is. Back row. Oh, seven was going 40. Back row, you have climate controls. Doesn't have heated seats, but you do have, you know, a lot of space for sure. Okay, let me close this tailgate here. And, uh, which is great. Front row up here. This is uh, just the XLT, so it's not completely loaded, but it is really well equipped for an XLT. You have heated and cooled seats, heated steering wheel, and you have a great infotainment system, lots of different drive modes. It's a four-wheel drive vehicle, which is great. So you can have it in two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, is which saves you fuel economy. Is that the technical term, infotainment? That's, that is, I've said it like a hundred times. I, I know, and I've pointed that well, out no, right I'm now. Well, no, I'm just curious because I've thought it a thousand times, but... Is that just like a cute little word you made up, or is that no? That's that's the real B word. word it's, it's infotainment. infotainment. So yeah, okay. infotainment is that it's your entertainment and information system yes, here in the middle. Yes, it would have thunk it. And the, the okay. center center console, it it allows you to you know function and do things in the car. This one has wireless charger, mm -hmm. and I mean it is a huge people mover. It, it it seats eight and it can take you to the ski resort and take you camping and take you off roading and take you across America really it's really a comfy ride too i like i like ford like i said i'm a blue oval kind of fan so does this, this one have a, a, a roof um oh yeah it's got the gigantor sunroof if you look all the way out oh, nice. so yeah and it keeps going i stopped it for whatever yeah. reason it keeps going and going and going and that's going so going. nice especially when on long drives oh yeah kids. so you have a lot of light 
Yeah. And it is, it's big, so you don't feel like you're in a, a big, you know, a big hearse. It's, mm -hmm. It lets light in and lets you, you drive and enjoy yourself. So, and I the like, front kind of looks almost like a truck would look. This is essentially, this is an F-150. This is an F-150 that has a body built on it. Oh. It's built on a truck frame. So okay. literally the F-150. So that would make sense, right? So you have the same engine and transmission. Okay. This one has 3.33, so it doesn't have the good axles for towing. But you're mm -hmm. going to get better fuel economy with that. Okay. You'll probably be able to tow right around 7,000 pounds with it. So it's a, it's a really good choice, and it's, it's really good looking. I really like I this really one. I really like it. All right, hit me up, like, and subscribe. What year, what, what's the year? Oh, this is a 2020. 2020. And I don't know awesome. how much it costs because yes. you have my pocket I have, brain. I do. But you can look me up on pressmanauto.com. Yeah. Hit me up, hit like and subscribe, maybe some notifications. Ask me for reviews on any of the 380 cars on our website. And I'm happy to uh, give you a substandard auto review. <laughs> Thank you, Matthew. Thanks again.